I like him a lot. I think, and I don't think he's going to be limited to playing safety or nickel in our defense. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's new defense coming in, the new scheme. Yeah, I mean, in mm-hmm. any scheme. Like, right. When you can play the way he plays, mm-hmm. you're really able to be a utility knife. Welcome back, world, to another episode of Buff and Prime. I'm your guy, CT the Fan, alongside T. Cal the Great. What's going on? And we get we get into some more film. We going back on the defensive side. <laughs> yeah, man, you know I love them DBs. So we're <laughs> back to the defensive side, man. And uh, this was one of the one of the most requested. Cameron Silman Craig. He mm-hmm. played star, which is nickel position, in our defense last year. He's a defensive back, and yeah, we're we're excited about him. Oh, there you go, Mr. Craig. All right, let me give you a little brief rundown from him. You know, he's at Jackson State. He played in 25 games at Jackson State. He had 111 total tackles, 10 tackles for a loss, four sacks, five interceptions, 11 pass breakups, one forced fumble, two fumble recoveries. He was first team all swack in 2022 when he had 63 tackles, five and a half tackles for loss, one and a half sacks, a fumble recovery, two interceptions. Uh, 2021, he ranked fifth in the team with 48 tackles. He came over to Colorado last year with Coach Prime and one of them bags. He played in 12 games, starting in 10 of them, played 673 defensive snaps. He recorded 32 unassisted tackles, 44 total tackles, two tackles for loss, one sack, and he tied the team lead with three interceptions. He logged a season-high nine tackles and an interception against in-rival state Colorado. And all his his interceptions were at home. All right, T. Cal, let's, let's let's get him to work, break him down. So he, um, the first game of the season, he didn't play much because uh, Miles Slusher was our starting nickel. Mm-hmm. And I watched that game with you. I told him, I said, hey, I like this dude. Mm-hmm. I like Slusher a lot. And then mm-hmm. he ended up getting hurt that game. So then I'm like, okay, well, next man up. So let's see who we got there. So I was able to see Cam step in. And Without seeing the all 22, I couldn't really see everything I wanted to see from him as far as, you know, down the field. How was he covering? How was he understanding zones and things like that? And if he was doing his job on blitzing, but he definitely popped out on film. I mean, I remember the interception versus Nebraska. I remember the interception versus, yeah, one versus Colorado State, right? Yeah, big Mm -hmm. one. Yeah, he did. One against Colorado State. All his interceptions came out. Mm USC. Yes, it was it was some big plays. So I remember those and everyone that's offseason jumping. Hey, break down camp, break down camp, break down camp. So that's what we're here to do. We're here to talk about Cam, see what he did in this defense, what we expect him to do this upcoming season. For those that you of you that don't know, when I played college football, I played in this exact same defense. I played star safety and corner in this defense. So I know what everybody's supposed to be doing. And I understand this defense very well. So y'all about to get another breakdown that you can't get anywhere else. This is very exclusive. So make sure right. y'all tap in. Like, comment, and, and subscribe. Yeah. Before we get to the film, That's make sure y'all support. like, comment, share, and subscribe, subscribe, mm-hmm. subscribe, subscribe. So more people can be able to see this channel, see what we're talking about. And more people get excited about Colorado Buffs this year because, mm-hmm. you know, people We've been ran through the ringer after everything <laughs> last year. So, you know, everybody's hitting anytime yeah. you put any type of news out. So mm. it's going to be good to see what we got coming this year. So let's get straight to it. So we got Cam up here. He's in the slot playing nickel. Let's see if I can move this bad boy down here. They okay, got him here in the nickel. Let's see. So he gives up a catch right here. It's about a four yard catch. And I have. No problem with this at all. So he's playing off coverage. This looks like ooh, that's a bust right there. But anyways, playing off coverage. And as soon as he breaks or he stops, he breaks. Closes to the ball. Great. Doesn't allow for any extra yards. That's a great play. You're not supposed to stop every route. I don't need you to stop three-yard routes. I'd rather you give up that than give up something deep. So I like that. Right here, he's at nickel. And I'm pretty sure he's about to blitz on this play. So let's see what he does. Yeah. Okay, so he, he blitzed, wasn't successful. 
what I want to show on here is basically how I cleaned it up. If this was myself blitzing, if I was coaching, this was one of my nickel players blitzing to talk about what they need to do better. So right here, you don't want to give him your body like that. Mm -hmm. He's giving him an easy target right here to just block and latch onto. You're not going to beat him. Like he's probably got 150 pounds on you. Mm -hmm. You have to use your speed and moves to get past him. So it looks like he has the edge right here. What I would have done is what I showed I did personally in the Shiloh video. I would have went inside hard here and mm -hmm. then bounced out or the opposite because they if, if they can move as quick as you then we got a different problem that we need to address <laughs> they should not be able to move the way you do and you see it looks like he tries to get back outside but mm -hmm. he's, he's too big he's too once late. he has hands on it's a wrap right so i want to see him use speed and quickness and work his angles better attack him here and then right now put that foot in the ground go outside or attack him outside and then come inside one of those because this that's not going to help us get to the quarterback mm -mm. all right so we got him here he's at nickel this is the corner right here so he's at nickel in the slot for those that don't know nickel is when you have five defensive backs on the field one two three four five so he is the fifth defensive back because you have two safeties and two cornerbacks at all times mm -hmm. and then this is the extra defensive back so that's what we mean when we say nickel now he's has a blitz right here what i want to see him do on this blitz is i want him to blitz this crack and take a straight line to the quarterback the reason i want him to blitz the crack is one that's the quickest path to the quarterback and two he can disrupt some timing with this route here if he gets right. away on the blitz this is the route he takes and we're going to be able to see had he taken this route, it could have been a different result. So you see him, he bubbles out, which allows him a free release. If, if you're not meant to get hands on him, but running across his face will help some. Mm -hmm. So he gets out, does a very dangerous thing right there, and the quarterback gets the ball off. So let's go back to see how he could have played this better. So if he blitzes through the crack, He's right here at this point. Mm -hmm. At this point, he's right here. He'll probably get chipped by the running back, but he should be able to get outside here instead of coming outside here. What that will allow is that'll make the quarterback step up in the pocket and possibly come free to, who's that, 49 looks like, right there. and Or he could end up coming free and just smacking the quarterback. But when you bubble like that, it's a much longer route, and now you have to – Trying to get to the quarterback from out here, that's almost impossible. Other risky thing that I can't blame him for is he goes inside here. He's the contained blitzer, meaning nothing's supposed to come outside of him. So he has mm -hmm. to be the most outside. If Caleb decided to spin and come out here, he'd have no. all the time in the world. Right. Now, you got to be a football player. I'm not going to tell you keep coming outside when you got a 300-pound tackle coming to hit you. Like, mm -hmm. make him miss to be a football player and then get back to your leverage. So I'm fine with what he did right there. I just want to see him take a better angle to start because I think he could have possibly disrupted this play some. Right. He's fast, though. He got to that quarterback. <laughs> you know, he's really quick. Mm. You'll see it from this angle. Like, I love the move, love all of that, but want to see him take a better angle on that blitz. All right, so we got him right here. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's probably going to be blitzing again. Okay. So, I guess I'll show it at this angle first. Here he is blitzing right here. And remember, I showed you everybody when we were watching the offense alignment. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember who, who I was talking about. Or maybe it was a DN that we are watching. But, yeah, it was a DN. When you do this, this is making his job easy because you didn't attack his leverage at all. So now all he has to do is ride you up the field. Right, I see. And, That's what yeah, there is, it's, and what it's doing worse is it's opening up this hole. So he's the force player or in this 
plays called the contain blitzer, meaning mm-hmm. as he blitzes, he still has to be mindful of keeping everything inside. This is not contained. By definition, yes, you are the most outside. But as we look at this play, what we call this is freeway force, where you can say, hey, I'm outside of my guy. I did my job. But look at the hole that that opened up. Talk and about this that. running back. That, that bad snap. Yeah. <laughs> oh he's, he's off to the races. It's just mm-hmm. in the corner right here. So what I want to see from him when he's blitzing is I want to see him, even though he's a contained blitzer, I want to see him attack hard at this tackle right here and then try to get out because that will, one, it's going to make the tight end work harder to block him, but two, it's going to make it so that you don't give that much of a gap up because that's freeway force. Mm-hmm. And we'll be able to see it again from this angle. He's blitzing right here. Like, bro, he got huge hole right there. The fumble is what ended up saving us. All right. So we're in the red zone near the goal line. We got him here playing man coverage in the slot. Okay. So, yeah, we got to talk about this. So, as you see, this was Marion Cooper right here, number three. I remember watching this on, on film. Or not on film, but live. And what I said was, usually your rule as a cornerback at the goal line, you cannot give up inside. Mm-hmm. Cannot, will not. Now, from the looks of this, it looks like a blitz, meaning you want to take the inside away because, like I always say, this line is the quickest throw for the quarterback. Right. However, I see Cam playing outside. He's also outside. So I'm not sure if they were supposed to be outside leverage on this. Regardless, it shouldn't look like this when he gets inside. That's not what we want. But they end up scoring on this crossing route right here. It's like Colorado State. Uh, this is a very, route. Right. It's a very simple thing to fix. And this is how I played it when I was at free safety, meaning this guy right here. And when I was at and, and then honestly, anywhere I was, even if the coaches didn't have us playing it like this, I talked to my DBs and said, this is the way we're going to play it. So as the free safety right here, you do not have a man. You're the free safety, meaning you are free and you just have to, you're really guarding this goal line. Mm-hmm. I don't want you back in the end zone. I want you on this goal line. How this should have played out is this safety should take over this route. That's mm-hmm. what I always did when I was at safety. The first crosser, I'd go rob that. Mm-hmm. There's no point of you chasing him all the way across the field. So I'm going to rob that route. Cool. When I rob that, what that allows is him to come, down him right. to come off and right. take that crosser. Then it allows Omarion to come off and take this running back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I makes can't everything yeah. so much simpler because now we don't have him running across with Cam outside leverage. Now you don't have him running across with uh, – Omari on outside leverage because that safety takes it over. And then this is covered. Very simple, simple fix to stop that. And I don't know if they didn't put that in uh, or what, but that's what I do at the goal line. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, we the, we seen them do that on a play with Travis Hunter and TCU. And I think we'll think we'll get to that one later in this film. But that that's an easy way we could have stopped that touchdown. Right. So what Cam did on that play – I didn't see anything wrong. He was playing outside leverage. The guy ran across. His guy didn't score, but he he chased him outside leverage. That was his leverage. And Omarion, I'm not sure if he was supposed to be inside leverage or not, but still, that's something we could have um, helped him on by the corner or the safety robbing that crossing route. So right. we got him here in the slot, playing man coverage. Yeah, I just want to see him play man. I love it. Love how he played this. He's patient and comfortable in the slot. Like oh, just yeah. patient, like his feet, like his hands. <laughs> he's he's smooth. This is what you want to see. The biggest and best quality you can have as a defensive back, other than confidence, is patience. Mm-hmm. I mean, the best. When you're patient and you don't panic, that's when you can really be you and be your absolute best. And the way he moves, he's patient. I like it. Open up, put my hand on, let's run. In great position. Love it. All right, we've got him right here in the slot. 
Let's face playing man, outside leverage. Hey, he covered this great. I showed on um, DJ McKinney's of him uh-huh. getting beat on this, and I said, hey, I've been beat on it too. It's a mm-hmm. tough rap. <laughs> what helps him here is he's outside leverage. So it's called a circus rap. Oh, yeah. So I remember we talked like about this speed. circus rap. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to come in here, gonna get vertical, and then come back out. It's a really hard route to guard. And you see him come right here, maintaining his outside leverage. That's important because had he switched inside, which a lot of people do and something I've done as well, then this guy breaks out and now you're on this side of him. So there's nothing between you and the ball. But when he maintains outside leverage, he's still between him and the ball and can make a play. That was a great, great rep. I'm telling you, a lot of people get beat on that. So we got him right here blitzing. Mm-hmm. It look, he, he might even bat the ball right there. So this is a good blitz by him. The reason this happened, I saw this a few times this game. Man, this this is one of the most common plays. I'll show the blitz again. That's great. Oh, I mean, that, yeah. That's all I can ask for. But this guy's wide open. I'm covered. Mm-hmm. And I told you this before when I watched football with you. One of the most common plays near the goal line is this. What people attack near the goal line is eye discipline. These two linebackers are sharing these two running backs. Mm -hmm. So whoever goes to this side, 20 got. Whoever goes to this side, 22 has. Now what they do is they switch. And about eye discipline, he's reading the run blocks Mm -hmm. and seeing people go this way, so he's going that way. Meanwhile, this is his guy right here. He's supposed to be going with him. Oh, he still thinks they got the ball. Yeah. Oh, ouch. And the thing with this is, let's count the gaps right here. So we have him here. Probably can use somebody here, here, and this gap. When you, what my coach used to teach is, when you have a running back, you don't have a gap. Mm-hmm. And he said that because the running back's going to take you to the gap. There's no point in getting in the gap if the person not going to have the ball. Like, the ball is going to take you to where you need to be. Right. So, for this, you need to key your back. Right here, uh, my defense, we call this pony, which means mm-hmm. two running backs. Even though it's a tight end, it's not a running back, but he's in a running back position. So, you need to key where your guy is going. 22, you need to – your guy's leaving. Okay, the other guy's coming. Perfect. Your back will take you to the ball. 20, your guy's leaving, another guy's coming. You need to be over here. He right, right. On your man. Oh, and yeah. then you see he's completely uncovered. Yeah. yeah. And then able to get some extra yards there. But love that blitz by Cam. Here Cam is right here again. I like this one a lot better. So they kind of blitzing with him a lot, huh? Yeah, bro, bro. It, that's all I did it. I love playing star. I'm playing man coverage or I'm blitzing mm-hmm. almost all the time. So watch him here. So he does it a lot better and we'll be able to see it from the other angle. As far as attacking one leverage of the lineman and then using the speed to beat him. So right here, he's coming out of the side of the screen. So he goes upfield, then mm-hmm. comes under 79 and do nothing with him. If Caleb still have the ball and Cam's still trying to get to Caleb, then he, he'll he probably get a sack on him. Only reason Cam's not still going is obviously he's seeing the ball thrown. But 79's cooked right here. Mm. Get some outside, and you see he hopped. Watch watch his feet. Watch him hop. Oh, yeah, it's over with. Oh, yeah. That's what you got to do. Shoot, that could be a block in the back. But don't give him your chest. Give him mm-hmm. a shoulder, something like that, like how we saw Jalen Wester take on the guards and the oh, yeah. you give him his shoulder which is yeah. a small surface area to get past them that was a really good list by him all right i'm here in the slot playing man coverage let me see what you got cam okay so they throw it downfield now we're gonna break down his man coverage so he's playing playing outside leverage i told you just like talking about shiloh we met when I play in this slot, I never backpedaled. We did a right. quarter turn scooch that lets you shuffle and allows you to break quicker. But they were teaching them to backpedal in the slot. So he's backpedaling. One, 
I'm gonna say I like his back pedal. This is smooth. Mm-hmm. Read step, smooth back pedal. He got caught right here on his brake some, but the back pedal, he's not rushing out of there. Mm-hmm. Like when I say he's comfortable, he's comfortable and he's patient. When you're comfortable, you can break up on these because he's not all out of control trying to back pedal. So you see him breaks a little bit late, but he's good. He doesn't give up that catch. And even if it did, it'd be a really short game. All right, we got on the slot here again. Remember what I told you, like to run at the goal line and how to stop it. Across so across the rack. Mm-hmm. we got two slints. We got three guys right here. What I would want to see is this safety. Take this it. guy ends up running like a slant and go, but it's fine. As soon as he does a slant, I want the safety to take him over. What that would mean is Cam would be going to guard his guy, see it getting taken over, and they can help at this slant right mm-hmm. here. So watch how this plays out. Mm. So he's outside leverage again, gets to be inside. Oof. Yeah. Now, should we look like that when we get beat inside? No. Mm. Him is outside leverage, but now he's trying to break on the potential slant, so he's trying to get inside leverage. Mm. So Ken ends up getting beat, and this uh, receiver gets wide open, where we could easily, man, if had they just told the safeties, hey, you can take away this route, mm-hmm. and we call it, if if I get cut, then I can turn around and cut the next guy. So Mm -hmm. it's worked out the way I would like to see it. He would cut him there. Cam, cool, cut. Now go rob this pick. Mm, Now, yeah, get him right there. Just so people know, I'm not making this stuff up. This isn't no thing I just came with off the top of my head. This is something that's in that playbook, 77 Mm -hmm. clamp. So I don't understand why we're not running that at the goal line. This is Travis Hunter's pick. Uh, I did it on the very first Travis Hunter Breakdown we did a, a few plays when we had five subscribers, ah. three and a half views. Yeah, so here we go. It's not the exact same situation, actually. I don't even know if they have running back to that side on this one, but they did on the one before where I showed Omarion coming off. But let's just watch it. So, in this, it starts off in man coverage. Travis says number one. Um, this guy has him, and then this safety has the number three receiver. Whenever I use numbers, I'm counting from outside in. This is the number one receiver. This is number two receiver. This running back is the number three receiver. One, two, three. On this side, this is number one receiver. This is number two receiver. So when Travis's guy, so in this coverage in 77 clamp, if they run a quick slant, you pass them back to mm-hmm. the next defender. You don't chase them. And when these guys both run these slants, then and Travis gets running back. Travis, yeah, because that's gonna be Travis's new number one. See, I'm learning. Yeah, yeah, no, you got it. And watch, just so you guys know, I ain't, I ain't BSing. Do the play starts. Let's watch him first. His running back goes out. He turns inside. Who does yep. he take? He takes that slant. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the other guy. He's right here. As of now, this is his man. This is his number two. As he comes in, he leaves him, and then he takes his new number two. Yep. Here's Travis. Travis, as of right now, this is his guy. This is his number one. As he goes in, he's going to become the new number two, and this guy's going to become the new number one. So then he goes and takes the number one. So we'll do it one more time just so you can see how it plays out. But this is a simple thing. Both of those touchdowns could have been stopped by running something like this to where everything gets passed oh. instead of having guys, man, hell of a pick. Let the but dog have guys chase people all across right. the field. Like, man, play smarter, not harder. <laughs> why, why would I have my corner chasing a drag route all the way across the field when I can have a safety come down and take it away? Mm-hmm. Now my corner can go look for work and find another route to take away. So that's what I want to see on both of those. This USC game was very winnable. I, I said that before I watched yeah. the film, but watching the film, man. All right, we got him in the slot again here. I love this play. Ooh, way to get out there. Way to hustle. Not give up on it. Man, Off that block. So there, there's a lot I didn't show from this game with clips of them. Mm-hmm. Because they did this bubble a lot. 
And over and over, Cam was just coming down, hitting him, coming down, hitting this blocker, coming down, hitting this blocker. And now they throw it. So I think that's Cooper. Cooper's coming here. Right now, football's cut. Inside, mm -hmm. outside, and then we got him putting the cap on. Then he misses the tackle. Cam could have just said, hey, I did my, my job. I'm where I'm supposed to be. But no, he gets off the tackle mm -hmm. or off the block and makes the tackle. That's a hell of a play. Really like that play. Really like that play. So this, what we call this play, should have drew it on here, but we call this 33 zone. So even though he's the nickel, mm -hmm. Sam's going to get back here and play as a safety. This safety is going to have the middle. And then this safety is going to play over here. And these guys are all playing underneath. It's like an inverted cover three, basically. So Sam's going to go high, which means this corner should be playing this flat over here. Now we'll mm -hmm. watch how it plays out. So Cam goes high. He's not supposed to be there. That's Cormani. Mm -hmm. Cormani's playing man coverage. He's not supposed to be playing man. Watch Cam. Cam, oh. Cam pointing. Hey, that's your guy. Cam's oh. supposed to be on him. And again, we'll we'll look at it down here. Watch how they play it down here. He's Both playing of his them, own. But the linebacker yeah. points at him too. So they thought he oh, thought yeah. Marnie was yeah, no, he's here telling, too. Hey, right. Out, out, out. Because mm -hmm. that's your zone right here. So they ran a flat right here. So this corner stayed on it. And then this guy comes up to the safety. He's running out into your zone. He had two he's people to come down. Right. Yeah. And then it's right there. Kermani plays the wrong coverage. Sam points or Cam points. Those are makes the tap on. So again, these are the things we don't realize when it's happening. Miscommunication, right? Yeah. Right. That's, yeah. That's, uh, that's why. All right. We got Cam right here. They playing the same thirty-three zone. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I done sent this to some of my teammates because. Most of the guys are playing 33 zone, but they end up running a blitz out of this. This is not, I think they had two different play calls, unless it's a play I've just never heard of. This ain't supposed to happen like this. Mm -hmm. Like the last one, he's deep, he's deep, he's deep. And then we're supposed to have all underneath zones. Mm -hmm. Cam says, hey, there's nobody underneath. Yeah, not a nobody. skull is underneath. So Cam jumps this route, which he really isn't supposed to. He's supposed to stay deep. But mm -hmm. There's nobody there. Like, this is crazy. Mm. So you see Cooper. He's here. He's still playing his own. This guy's wide open. This is Cam. Cam's supposed to be deep. And then Cam notices late and starts running over there. Runs over there. Caleb thought he was Superman. He can get that in. Cam ends up making the play. Great job, Cam. I like yeah. that. He, he, he's covering for, for other people's responsibilities. I've been there. It's not fun. Because, look, even if Caleb says, you know what, I'm going to throw it to him now. There, mm -hmm. Bro, there's nobody around him. Not, nobody. Not. Wow. And then Caleb <laughs> says, you know what, I see him open. I'm going to get to him. Cam just keeps dropping, makes the play. Hey, sometimes you got to be a football player. That, that dog. This is what I was telling you um, when we watched the TCU game. Mm -hmm. I know you're blitzing. Caleb knows you're blitzing. Because this safety is lined up directly over Cam. Only time you're going to have two over one, unless it's cover four, mm -hmm. is and even cover four, he would be here apexing. Apex mm -hmm. means in between the last man on the line of scrimmage and this number two receiver. Right. It's anytime you have this, a smart quarterback knows you listen. And then what happens? He comes down to play man, and then Cam comes down as well. So now the blitz, they know the blitz. Now, Cam, Cam contain blitzer right here. The contain blitzer means that you have the edge, so you cannot you cannot let anybody outside of you. He got notes mm -hmm. right here. So as he's coming here, he's coming here to have the edge. He looks inside, thinking the running back has the ball. Caleb Williams kept the ball, and now he's out. When you're the mm -hmm. contained blitzer, you got to be contained. You cannot let anybody outside of you. And then you'll mm -hmm. see how it opens up from there. Mm. It's a first home run. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough one. We'll see it from this angle. There. See, he was good. And then you see he comes down. 
and he gets tricked. You can see yeah. from his feet. And then that's the oh shoot run. Right. <laughs> let me go catch up. Oh shoot. I gotta go catch him. So gotta when you're contained, you gotta stay contained. Here he is right here. Great play. Yeah. Man coverage. He's back here. I'm fine with this. He's catching the ball for a four yard gain. No yards after catch. This is perfectly fine. That's not a negative play on him. And Lord have mercy. What the boy? Hey now. I don't like that. I do not like that. And I don't think this was zone. Yeah, maybe he read that once once he saw the ball leave the quarterback hand, he just Man, you shouldn't be looking at the quarterback man coverage. Uh, that's I don't like that. But uh, Cam comes down, makes a play. Great play. Love, love, love it. Very comfortable with him and man coverage. Mm -hmm. Oh, this was a play right here, boy. <laughs> love this. Here he is right here. And I really like this because this is showing me he's being comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like when you get comfortable in a defense like this, when you get real excited, he either, I'm assuming he's probably in cut coverage on this guy, meaning he has him vertical and out. But uh, or vertical and in, but not out. But he could also be in man coverage on this. But what he's doing is, hey, I've been blitzing all game. I'm gonna mm -hmm. show blitz in disguise, even though I know this is my man. I'm so confident and comfortable. I know I'm gonna get there later, but I want to show this. So he shows it, comes here, and watch this. Runs a comeback route. Comes downhill, breaks it up. Wow, man, that's a route right there, boy. Yeah. Wow, we looking good over there, hey, Nickel. Hey, that that is a hard play to make. Come here, sit down. That's ah. a hard play to make. I love it. I really love it. And right now, it looks like he's gonna be playing free safety. Oh, okay. But, like I play free safety and I play nickel. Mm -hmm. That gives you, if you're a man coverage and you're playing a team with four receivers, ten personnel, or even um, eleven personnel tight end, your safety is your fourth coverage person right so the corners is going to be one two they're your first two and then your nickel if you're playing a nickel base is going to be your third coverage person and then if there's a fourth receiver or tight end your safety's coming down so this gets me confidence if we get if Preston Hodge ends up being that dude at nickel then mm -hmm. we get Cam coming down and playing man coverage Shiloh D hey we in great shape man <laughs> we in great shape uh, that's what I like to hear that's what I like to hear is right here. All right, so this is a missed tackle on him. I'm not. I don't condone missed tackles. Mm -hmm. But there is a better way to miss tackles. I'll, I'll say that. And what I mean by that is Cam's coming inside out. He sees he has two guys right here. If you miss, miss outside. Right. Because that's going to allow them to go. It's going to make him cut back to your uh, your help. Because mm -hmm. if he stays outside, then you end up making the tackle. Now, I'm not a fan of going as low as he did there. But if you he stays outside, you tackle him. If he doesn't, your teammates tackle him. So, right. again, I don't condone missed tackles, but there that's are better point. ways to miss a tackle. So, let's hear from here. And the reason he's running this way and not worried about, like I showed on Shiloh's film, tracking the inside hip so mm -hmm. he doesn't cut back, is these are the cutback players. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to cut the football. Like, like I always talk about, inside, this guy's putting the cap on, he's outside. So, he's trying to cut, right, so, so this is, it. you know, it looks like he slipped a little bit there. It's a hard angle. Oh, hard he did tackle. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a missed tackle, but he did it the right leverage, I should say. Here we go right here. I think he's in man coverage right here. Let's see. Yeah, love it. Guard the corner right. Really good. Man coverage on the corner. Great coverage. Oh, and then I, I got to show this one time. Because even though Marion had those few, here he is right here. Mm. Yeah, I'm that was. Boy, that stuff. was. Loved it. I think I haven't showed it from this angle. 
Damn. Great. Mm. Great. Great. Talk your stuff. Look, hi, bro. So how you feeling about him so far before we get into this UCLA tape? Man, I, I like what I've seen, bro. And that was the first game of the season. And then, you know, I was watching the other uh, – because you, you always say that defense is hard the first year because it's so much yeah. so much process. So, USC, that was – that was after Oregon. Mm-hmm. So, you, yeah. So he's, week five, and he didn't start until week two. So, yeah, he's mm-hmm. only a few weeks a few weeks into it. But And I like – I mean, he seemed real comfortable. I like uh, I like his cover skills a lot. I mean, I'm sitting mm-hmm. here. I'm like, how are we getting beaten on crossing routes when we got this guy? Like, I don't <laughs> – Yeah. <laughs> I know? like it a lot, too. Uh, yeah, man. Um, I can't imagine him not start. I, and you said they're moving him to free safety, right? Yeah, right now he's at free safety. Oh, and okay. he played free safety. He played some in this game. Mm-hmm. Shiloh got kicked out. And then he played some, I think – there's another game that he played free safety. I believe he played free safety at Jackson. And then yeah. once he got to Colorado, he started playing more than nickel. So I mean, I'm I'm really happy with it. I'm I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. Yeah, and, man. I'm thinking yeah. we, we could be looking pretty loaded in the defensive backfield. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm excited. So hey, make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, comment what y'all think about this film so far. Again, mm-hmm. subscribe and we're gonna keep keep breaking down this UCLA. So let's See what we got here. We got in the slot right here. Mm-hmm. See how it plays out. He's in the slot. Man, love that. Come down and make an open Man, field tackle. Making them tackles, yeah. <laughs> Come down, make an open. Man, love that. Love that. That's a great play right there. I'm not sure if they were in man. I don't think they were from how things are playing on this side. So, ooh, yeah, something crazy going on over there. But, hey, <laughs> he looks like he's in his own. So he's right. seeing through his man to the quarterback. And, bro, that's, that's a very – people don't know how impressive of a play that is. That's a super impressive play. And to get there. He got down there and got yeah. that quick. Any type. I can tell you, people are not making that type of play. That's a great play by him. All right, we got him here again. All right. So, he misses this tackle. Mm-hmm. Now, what I'll say about this is, so I believe they're in seven mod right here, which is cover four, so he's the edge player. Mm-hmm. First thing I would say is I'd want him a little closer to this receiver because it's supposed to be apex, meaning between the end man of the line of scrimmage and this receiver. Mm-hmm. So when you do that, it makes it easier for you to make plays in the run game or here versus when you're closer to the end man of the line of scrimmage, it makes that a further play out. Now, watch at the beginning of the play, he sits here. Mm. His zone is out here. If this is cover four, which I think it is, his zone's out here. There's no threat of a run right here. Right, because this guy's out. So unless it's quarterback power, I mean the quarterback's running it with these pulling guards, there's no threat of a run. So as soon as the ball's hiked, I would be making my way out here. So Mm. then when this is thrown, I can make a better play on this. Now, he gets pushed in the back right here. Mm-hmm. by this offensive lineman and this is a tough play to make but if he gets to his zone quicker and triggers quicker then he can avoid getting hit by him so he can oh, make I this see. tackle still a really tough tackle but i think one his alignment slightly in the fact that like watch how far in the play it is before he moves he's just now moving and the quarterback's already man to throw the ball uh, right. A whole bunch of like, look how far the linemen's moved since then. Linemen's all the way over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Just, yeah, and he just took his first step. Yeah. So that hurt him there as far as being able to make that play. Still not a terrible play by him. Who, who's that coming to make? Is that Trevor Woods? All right, now. I done told you about Trevor. I done, hey, I done told you about Trevor. <laughs> make this play. And People can get tired of it all they want. I'm not going to question my credibility. <laughs> I'm saying and coaching on this stuff that 
I've played and I've experienced. I'm not mm-hmm. just saying stuff just to say it. I'm telling you stuff that I did, which is right. the big difference. So mm-hmm. here I am right here, and it's the same thing. We're, we're, we're in the same type of play. I'll play at full speed one time, and you'll see how I trigger. Make tackle for a loss. Mm. Same scenario, except I was in cut coverage. So as soon as the play started, I'm moving out this way. Right. And then as I'm moving out this way, now I have a better angle because I got to get here before they get to me there. Oh, oh I think, yep. And, and they were coming. They were coming. And he actually got a hand on me. But still, I made the tackle and got a tackle for a loss. So that is a tough play for him to make, but it's possible. Right. And I'm showing you exactly how it is possible. And those are little things to clean up. Mm-hmm. But if Trevor's not here to save the day, you know, who knows where that goes? And you'll see it right here. Because of the angle he was at and he had to run outside, he had to run this way instead of straight down. Now he has to try to get yeah, they, past him. him. And, yeah. yeah. That so it's just, it's a really tough play. Right. right. Here we go. We got him right here in the slot. See what he does. It's a blitz. Hey. Perfect blitz by him. Perfect blitz by him. Well, so outside so open. So <laughs> this is going to come up again. It's called crack replace. Mm-hmm. When you play football, if before we get there, there's a mistake made by Shiloh in this safety right here. This is something our coach used to drill on us like crazy. So they're in man coverage right mm-hmm. now. This is how it fits. He's a man here. Shiloh's in man here. He's the deep high safety. He's in man right here. And then if there's a tight end, which let me see. Two tight ends. So that would mean Trevor would be on him and he would be on him. Mm-hmm. Now, the problem with this is they're doing what's called rock and rolling. So what Shiloh is telling him is, hey, this guy's going across. So you got to go that way and come down and take him man coverage. I'm going to go high. And then Omarion saying, hey, he's going across. So I'm taking this guy. Problem is why Shiloh's looking, talking to him. He never went across. So this is still Shiloh's man. Until oh, I he see. crosses the center, right. that's still your man. Once he crosses mm-hmm. the center, then you can send him down. But right now he's still Shiloh's man, and Shiloh's back here when Shiloh should be right here. So the way crack replace works is Cam's blitzing. Let's mm-hmm. pretend this is Shiloh right here. As soon as my guy, because I'm I have a man coverage, as soon as I see him do this. I have to, I should already be coming downhill because I can tell from the angle he's not running the route and I have to replace right here. So this is mm-hmm. what is a crack block, meaning you're cracking down on a defender. So he's cracking them blindside, crack down right there. So now my DB has to crack replace and fit right off of oh, here I see what you mean. to yeah, take yeah. over his spot. Mm-hmm. Now that doesn't happen because one Shiloh's back there and Omarion is back here, which gives all this running room. Mm-hmm. So Cam did 100% what he's supposed to do. And I have a lot of sympathy for Cam because my junior year, we played Texas Southern. And we played them. I was this guy having the edge. So I'm coming mm-hmm. down to get the edge. That's my job. I'm the contained blitzer. I'm coming to get the edge. And the ball kept bouncing outside of me. My coach mm-hmm. is livid on the sideline. DK, what are you doing? Like, what? Why they keep getting outside? You're the edge. You're the edge. My coach is not my fault. I'm getting cracked. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Why do you not have the edge? He got on the headset. He said, hold on. He said, he's getting cracked. I said, yes, I've been telling you that I've been getting cracked all quarter. He said, well, who the F is the cornerback? <laughs> he got the corner is my <laughs> homeboy, Mike. He said, Mike, why the hell is he getting cracked and you not replace it? <laughs> because that's how it works. Uh-huh. When you don't replace, now your single edge defender is gone. Out right, there. that's what I'm saying. I'm like, look at replace, that edge is gone. There's never going to be an edge. Mm-hmm. So you have to, from Cam's perspective, you have to, you still have to blitz there. Because mm-hmm. if you go to the edge, now there's an extra gap because the guy came inside you. So right, you're right. still, you still got to do your job. Like mm-hmm. you can maybe make the tackle, but you got to blitz at your leverage first 
and then do the rest. But yeah, that happened because they didn't crack or place correctly. Here he is right here in the slot. Okay, backpedaling, backpedaling. Okay, love this. It's great coverage from Cam. He can cover. Great coverage from Cam. He can definitely cover. Wow, this happened again? No way. So there's another play that's happened. We don't have a – this is man coverage. We don't have a single high safety right now. Shiloh's playing man on him. He's playing man here. He's playing man here. And then my safety right here, it thinks he's playing man on this guy. Anytime you're in cover one, that means one safety has to be deep and the rest mm -hmm. of the people in man. So what happens right here, at the start of the play, this is trapped by this guy, mm -hmm. the tight end. I'm not sure. They're probably in one wide, which I've talked about a lot. So in one wide, or even cover six, which you football heads, it's not the cover six you're thinking of. It's a different cover six in the saving tree that ends up playing like man. But you don't guard routes this short. Mm, it's either gonna, you're either gonna, yeah. So you're either going to give an under call, mm -hmm. telling them that they need to pick them up, or if it's one wide, you give a cut call. So mm -hmm. if it is one wide, cover one, he should take this over. Mm -hmm. That is his guy. Um, and if he doesn't take it over, then it would pass on to Trevor. So that doesn't happen. He's supposed to be the high safety, but he also thought the tight end was his man. So you're going to see him run across the field. Well, yeah. And had Travis got cut, Travis would have taken over the running back, got cut correctly here, because over here, everyone's outside leverage. Mm -hmm. They're outside leverage. Like on this post route, this is open right now. That's not Cam's fault that it's open. You're supposed mm -hmm. to have a middle high safety right here. But Shiloh's playing man, and he's playing man, so there's no middle high safety. And they got Colorado on this exact same play, formation, everything, this game. So that's something they definitely need to fix. But Cam's coverage for being outside leverage is perfect. I'm excited to see Cam in his new defense. Me too. All right. That's another one. This is going to show up on Shiloh's tape too, where this could have been – Shoot, this would have been an ESPN pick had he got this one. So we're playing cover two right here. Mm -hmm. Man, this is his, this safety deep zone. This is his deep zone. Then we've got a flat player, a flat player, hook player, hook player, and hook player. Now, like I uh, showed in Will Shepard video with the cover two safety, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stress on these guys. So as the cornerbacks and hook players you got to help them out so if i know my safety has this deep half what travis is doing right here is forcing him inside mm -hmm. i want to force you closer to my safety you force him outside you force him inside cam has to get hands on this guy he's mm. in zone coverage but he has right. to reroute what reroute it means is you reroute him from where he's going mm -hmm. so cam should get hands on him and try to reroute him outside of him to make Shiloh's job easier. Cause mm -hmm. then you have this guy going inside and this guy going inside. So now Shiloh has two people in close proximity versus if this guy goes outside and this guy comes inside, now Shiloh has a lot more field to cover. Mm -hmm. We can't let guys go untouched. Like when that happens, I mean, if this ball is thrown correct, that's an easy catch. And Shiloh almost made this pick. You'll see from the other angle, it would have been a crazy interception. So here Cam is right here. You got to reroute him. You got to yeah. get on him and try to get him to go that way so that you can help out your safety. And then you see the middle of the field is wide open. Now Shiloh comes screaming in. If he dives and picks this, oh, it's all over ESPN. Mm. All over ESPN. Here Cam is here in the slot. All right, so what I don't like about this is Cam not fighting enough to get off this block. So he's right here. Mm -hmm. He's blocked right there. He's still blocked right there. He hasn't moved. He's still blocked right there. The receiver is getting out of boys in the film room because of that. The coach is telling mm -hmm. him, hey, you stayed last round on him. You didn't get off. That was one of, one of my coaches always told me, you never want to play to end like this where you're still <laughs> attached to a blocker right. and you never want them getting out of boys in the film room. 
you want right. the coach to be like, hey, you got a block longer, so I need you to get off the block. I need you to mm-hmm. fight better to get off that block. All right. The crossing routes that we dealt with against Colorado, uh, Colorado State. Mm. One of the easiest ways to stop those is cover two. Mm-hmm. Anybody that's played Madden before <laughs> knows this play. It's called mesh spot, meaning mm-hmm. we're going to get a wheel route from this running back. He's running a drag. We're going to get another guy running a drag, and then we're going to get a guy that sits right in the middle field for a hitch wrap right over the ball. And this is what we – part of what we got killed against against Colorado State, but watch how it plays out in cover two. So instead of everyone just running free, he's going to pass him off there. Now he's going to come down. Same with Ken. Cam passed the first one off. I'll let him go because one's coming back, and then mm-hmm. he triggered and broke on that one. And then we got Trevor Woods right in the middle for the spot route. And we'll be able to see it from this angle better because they play this great. And Cam, one thing I noticed about him, he understands his zones really well. Like, mm-hmm. he is really sound. He understands passing concepts. Uh, very similar to Slusher in that manner. Oh, okay. Like, really, he's he knows what he's doing. So watch here. Bam. This is what I want. Trevor got the spot route. Cam's on this drag route. This guy right here is on this drag route. We're covered down. This is perfect. And what happens? Get a it's sack. the cover sack. Yeah. Cover sack. Okay. So that's what a cover sack is when the defensive yeah. back's got everybody covered. And gives our defensive line enough time to get the sack. Got it. Exactly. That's a covered sack. They had nowhere to go. All right. We got Cam right here. All right. So again. Most people see this as a negative from Cam. Missed tackle. We got a crack replace. Exact same. Play didn't change at all. Remember mm-hmm. last time they used the motion. They saw it work last time. Mm-hmm. Football is all about tendencies. When coaches see something work, they're going to come back to it. If you get beat on a play and the quarterback didn't see it, I promise you, the offensive coordinator, whoever's up in the box, they saw it. They're mm-hmm. going to circle that and come back to it. So that's why adjustments mid-game are so important. Now, when they run this motion, they see Colorado's not a man. Because last time, that's when Shiloh was like, hey, you go down, and I'm going to go. You know, that messed it up. Now, Cam, I'm not even sure if he's blitzing right here, but he's the edge guy. Right now, I think this is Omarion Cooper. As soon as you see this, you got to come humming. Right. Yeah, I'm like, what's he humming. way out there? Wait you see for- your guy get him cracked. Cam misses this tackle. It could have been an amazing play had he made it. But this is tough. I got to run full speed to the edge inside and then try to dive and tackle you while you're moving outside. Now, Marion comes later, but this has to come a lot sooner. You see the first down sticks right there. Mm-hmm. And they're getting the first down. So, again, much more. it's a missed tackle, but yeah, that's that communication, right? Yeah, that, that's, yeah, I, yeah. I see it. And, and for the people saying Trevor Woods too small to play linebacker, just watch this clip. Watch how he gets through there. <laughs> and this would be a tackle if Cooper is coming. The ball would be cut. We'd have Cam right. right here doing what he's supposed to do, Trevor from the inside, and then Cooper right here to blast him. And instead, mm. Trevor gets hit by that guy. Cam, like, this this is almost an impossible tackle. He's getting pushed in the back, mm-hmm. and he's trying to get back out like this. And them two I don't know what more you want from him. So this, yeah. even though it's a missed tackle, this would never be a negative on my grading sheet of him. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to get on you for that. Right. And then – yeah, Shiloh, that's one of the ones he do needs to wrap up. But let's go to Cam in the slot. I love it. I love what he did right here. What I don't love is he's not fighting off this block to get to the ball. <laughs> Watch how long he stays. Blocked. I need you to fight off. I need you to fight off. Because good things happen when you run to the football. Oh, yeah, yeah, we saw that. We saw, yeah, we saw those videos, too. All right. Here's Cam in the slot. Run into the football. What happened? Oh, a fumble happened. Mm. Man. Cooper Cam. ends up recovering this, but Cam almost recovered it. You know why? Because Cam was running to the football. He's back here. Mm-hmm. Still running to the football. Fumble Ooh. happens. <laughs> but CEO headache game. Yeah, yeah ah. I like blasted him. <laughs> That's what running to the football does. Mm-hmm. Now this one, I think Travis is crazy pick. One again, 
uh, Ken, I got to get you to rewrap. Cover two, you got to get hands on this guy. You cannot give him a free release like that. Give him a free release, runs this corner route. Travis just does the unthinkable and goes and picks that off. Now, what I will say on this, I, mean, I don't know if he did it or not. Right now, Travis is supposed to yell China, 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 China. Mm -hmm. What that would, anytime you get two by two, you yell China because this is one of the most common route concepts in football. It's called smash. Mm -hmm. This guy's running a hitch. This guy's running a corner route because it's made to occupy Travis's eyes right here. So mm -hmm. then we can sneak one in right behind him right here. So when Travis yells China, that tells Cam, who's looking at the quarterback like he's supposed to, basically, hey, I have a hitch route out here. So Cam mm -hmm. would just immediately run here to take over Travis's guy and then freeze Travis up to do the unthinkable. Do what crazy. Do. Yeah. All right, we got Cam here again in the slot. Okay, this is what I wanted to show on this one. So when we broke down Keaton Wade's film, I told you that I wanted to be more comfortable in zone coverage mm -hmm. and feel routes. Right. Watch this. At no point is Cam going to look out here, but watch how he mirrors this receiver. Stepping out here, receiver goes in, look. Wow. He breaks in <laughs> as soon as the receiver does. And the reason he's doing that is because he's reading the quarterback and see uh -huh. where he's looking in – he understands that's because somebody must be behind me. So even though he's not even looking, that's it looks impressive. like he's guarding a man covers the way he yeah. breaks. Yeah, that's because he that's understands the concepts. He understands where people are trying to go. Shadow got kicked out of the game there. But hey, I like him a lot, man. Mm -hmm. I think he's playing safety right here. Okay, yeah, so I really like this from him. Playing man coverage right here. And you can watch. Look at the break. It's a great break. It's an absolutely fantastic break, especially having to play that deep. Right. Bam. Great break. Love that. Little things, man. Little things. All right. Here we got him at free safety. <laughs> he just got a fumble. Yeah, I saw you know that. Because good things happen when you run to the football. He didn't make the fumble. It literally popped up in his hands because he's running to the football. Good things happen when you run to the football. We'll see it from the tight. Yeah, we had a lot. Of, there's no way we should have lost this game. Four defensive force turnovers. Pops right to him. Wow. Good things happen when you run. It sure to the does, man. It sure does. That's 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 facts. Big facts. Now we got him playing man in the slot. Misses this. This is a tough tackle. Mm -hmm. I missed some of these two. So what he's doing is he's running to where he's going. I think he's gonna go. Assuming, he's yeah, down. assuming right. he's still, yeah, assuming he's still coming here. So he's taking that angle, but then he cuts Oof. that. Yeah. I missed that. like two, three of these. And what I started doing is I was like, forget it. I'm going to his back hip. So I started mm -hmm. running. Running just to his back hip. So if he tries to stop, he's going to stop right into me. And right. use the sideline as your friend. You got him right here. Great blitz. Great blitz. Love what he did right there. Love what he did right there. Start right here. Sees it. Triggers. Bam. Gets him in the hole. Along with Jordan Dominic. It's a great play. All right. Got Cam right here. Safety. Breaks on it, same thing, man. Misses the tackle, comes back and makes the tackle, but it's the it's the same thing. He's trying to cut him off right. instead of running to his back hip. And it's tough, man, because you never know which way these receivers are going to turn when they get the ball. But the right. best bet is to take away the back hip. And I got two more plays of him. Well, he didn't get You don't want them pointing on camera. Oh, uh, uh, I hate that. Yeah, that's a tough yeah. one. Just got to yeah. get a better angle on it. All right, here he is at safety. Love it. Get down there, get in that box. <laughs> love it. Lo love his feet. 
Love how he's tracking the ball. There we go. Love that. Cap that. Really ball. love that. And then this is one of my favorite ones from the CMS safety again. So we'll get CMS safety. Come downhill, sift through traffic, go make the play. <laughs> that. Yeah. That's important, man. When you got That's safeties, it. you want Run them to be football, heat, right? heat seeking missiles and be able Paying to. attention. Man. Oh, you missed the top. I'm here. Love it. Oh, that's great. Love it. That's great. That's that's what you want to see on your free safety. So yeah, man, that's Cam. I that's who he is. You know, you are, like you are what you put on tape. I like him a lot. I think, and I don't think he's going to be limited to playing safety or nickel in our defense. Mm-hmm. Like, and this new defense coming in, the new scheme. Yeah, I mean, in mm-hmm. any scheme, like right. when you can play the way he plays. Mm-hmm. You're really able to be a utility knife, right. or what, wherever we need you. Like I think he could go out and play corner. Yeah. That's important when you got guys that you can put in place in these different positions and stuff. Especially like we talked about with the defense, how they do all these exotics and have people mugged up at the line of scrimmage right. to where they don't know what position he is on the field. Is <laughs> That's he why he's going to be Is he at safety? Is he at nickel? Yeah. What is his responsibility? Because Teams may watch film and say, oh, we know that the nickel is going to end up being the blitzer on this play. But they all mugged up at the line. You don't know if he's the nickel or not. You don't Especially, know if he's safety or not. Right, because you put him and then, you know, you got Jalen Wilson coming in. Like, you bring in the linebacker that can blitz. <laughs> right. You, like, bro, you just sitting there all – they come into the line. You don't know who's coming. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm high on him, man. It's going to take mm-hmm. a lot for me to have another safety starting over him. Right. I think. I think he's our starter. Somebody's gonna have to show me a lot because mm. I, I like the way he understands passing concepts, the way mm. he plays. I like home. he's got mad cover skills, right? Yeah, and he, he has a really good IQ. Mm. Those are things important. I don't care if he's undersized or whatever you want to call it. Football IQ will take you as far as you let it. Like you yeah. can go really far with having that IQ. He's fast, he's mm. patient, he's confident. Um, he's composed. Those are the big things you need to see as a DB. Yeah, he right. had some missed tackles. The the two of the ones I showed that were missed is really because he just didn't get there in time. Like right. Once he got there on those, and then the crack, the blockers through uh, there. Block, right. And then there ain't nothing you can. But I, what I did see yeah. in his video footage, man, the defense was having a lot of communication breakdown, like stuff you don't really yeah, see when you're lot. watching the game. But you're like, oh, okay, I'm because I'm like, man, this guy's. Being across the field, this guy's great. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like, okay, I'm starting to understand this now. You know, mm-hmm. these guys are having a ton of communication breakdown. Like you yeah. said, at some point, they're like they're running two different plays in the defense. <laughs> You're like, Literally oh. two different plays at once. Right. And mm-hmm. you can't you can't win that way. Man. Right. Yeah, it matters. So everybody's got to get on the same page. And I'm glad that when Coach Prime announced that the uh linebackers are gonna have uh the microphones in their uh in their yeah, helmet. That, that's, that's a difference. That's, that's gonna be a huge difference, right? And Robert Livingston, I I think he said in one of his interviews that um, he's going to try to simplify things so guys can play fast. Mm-hmm. And that's what you want. like Especially with that much it. talent you got, right? Yeah. yeah. I just let them go be football players. Like, like as much as I love that Staven defense, you people weren't able to play fast last year. Mm-hmm. Like The only way you play fast is without having to think. If you're having to think too much, you cannot play fast. So I believe, and Robert Livingston, he's never ran his own defense before. Mm -hmm. So he has a chance to put his own stamp on something, and Mm -hmm. he can add or subtract as much as he wants, catered around how guys are getting it. If guys are clicking, if guys are understanding it, then, hey, we can add this. and you know. But it sounds like he's really going to tailor everything to the guys that he has. And he's getting a buttload of ton of talent coming in. (laughs) Yeah, talent everywhere. So Cam... (laughs) He could After seeing this film, mm-hmm. I feel a lot better at free safety. I feel really good at. Free I just safety. feel a lot better about the defense in whole because I, after watching this yeah. film, I'm sitting mm-hmm. like, "There's no way the defense is gonna be this bad next year." You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it just, better not be. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, gosh, like you, I was sitting there like, "Yeah, I see what Cam doing, but look at the rest of like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, Scary. okay, I'm understanding now. Like this, they were having mm-hmm. serious communication yeah. breakdowns. They Everywhere. were having serious Bucks of coverages and yeah. right, yeah, yeah. it's. Bad. Yeah. I now understand why Colorado State and damn crossing routes. Like, <laughs> good lord. But yeah, man. So that's Cam. Uh, comment below who y'all want to see next. We got more videos dropping all spring, all summer, all fall. That's what we do Make at sure Buffalo Prime. Subscribe, like, like comment, share. comment, watch, and watch, and watch. 
Watch the yeah. video like five times. Make sure y'all watch it, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So more people can see this. But hey, man, we appreciate y'all. We appreciate Definitely. the support. And we appreciate y'all for staying this far during the live. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, man, you guys are awesome. And you guys, yeah, we appreciate that. Us to get more and, videos out. And that's why we try to be in the live premiere. So, because it's your chance to really interact with us back and forth. Yeah. Like, if you've been looking yeah. to do that, we come love to the live premieres. Yeah. Yes, we love interacting with y'all. So, yeah, uh, make sure. Like I said, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're trying to get this thing rolling. But uh, yeah, comment below who y'all want to see next. And we got you. Yeah, appreciate you guys. All right, y'all.